Hi Sagittarius, this is your reading for the 21st of September to the 27th of September 2020 and I hope you're well and uh, welcome back, thank you very much for all your likes and shares you're really coming out and watching the videos, I'm amazed it's nice to see so many Sagittarius coming in and apparently everybody likes the transplant transparent tarot as I've got a lot of likes and hits and this time I'm using it with another deck a traditional deck a cardboard deck and it is the everyday witch because we're going into autumn and we're going on towards Halloween and I'm feeling the energy and there's also the first episode of the second series of the witch and that is not it's it is about it, we're working with witches books but they're so beautiful they're even motivating me and Georgina to set goals and so I'm going to um, try to get to my goal okay there will be workshops uh, later on and there's lots happening so I'm really really busy and uh, that's why the romance readings aren't out yet they will be out next week hopefully and there is already uh, a new video out on the Libra energy so have a look at what Libra energy is and what it could mean to you also please keep on um, subbing and hitting the bell on all but you have to change your settings uh, you have to give YouTube permission in YouTube and also in your mobile device and then you will get notified by YouTube on all your favorite channels so I've made a video on that as well so to set your um, settings in YouTube and in your device for mobile uh, telephone and um, or a ta uh, laptop or tablet so have a look at those videos that's the Libra energy the uh, review on the transparent tarot and on uh, the um, um, giving permission on YouTube okay and have a look at last week uh, last week's reading and the week before if uh, you haven't yet because then you can see three different ways that I ha I'm using um, the tarot this is the third way uh, how I'm using the transparent tarot okay and coming back to the witches series this is to bring ourselves back uh, into strength and that's what the workshop will be uh, all about um, it's not only for health or the strength but also uh, mentally spiritually and physically okay so there's loads of things happening there will also be guest appearances um, on most probably on the page Charlie's Angel Crowd on Facebook and I will be interacting with a lot more cyber angels um, on that page as um, two months ago I went live and the uh, of cyber angels wanted more interaction so there will be also more interaction um, so the live sessions might change a little bit because uh, I am so busy and uh, I hope you will still enjoy the weeklies okay and um, I hope to bring out another video for meditation because I had positive reactions on the last one and we're going into Libra time um, that is also the autumn that's on the 21st and that is also the fall equinox and it is a, a, a pagan a Wiccan festival the Maybon festival the harvest festival so let's get started with your reading my darling you are the last but definitely not the least your first card that I have is the six of wands you have victory you have a recognition from your community your family your friends you are going onwards and upwards you might be getting a promotion you might be going on holiday or you might be moving home but definitely you have victory awesome beautiful if you've had your car your eye on a car it could certainly shortly be yours 
the energy is there because usually you see a man riding in a knight on a white horse in other decks and that's why I have to keep the traditional uh, tarot also in my mind but here the lady is on foot but she is being recognized and she is in a voluptuous beautiful dress with dragons on it she's ready and rearing to go and that could be your energy at this moment okay now I'm going to come back to the transparent tarot in a minute and then you have the five of cups the five of cups means that you um, might be crying over spilled milk you might be crying over the past let it go let the past go don't hang in there don't hang in the past you've still got two cups standing take those two cups be grateful with what you've got okay don't look at what you don't have look at what you do have don't look in front of you look around you there is beauty it's like this girl's only seeing the cups she's not seeing the beautiful beach and the sunshine and the balloons and that does that there is two cups so she won't have to celebrate alone there's more people around than you uh, are willing to see you can change the present but you can't change the the past so you can change the present and you can change the future so stand up dust yourself off and carry on like the Queen of Pentacles does she doesn't mind getting her hands dirty and she's got puppies like or kittens lying at her feet she's got green fingers and she sows, sows seeds and she sows seeds time and time again so that she does have return and rediment every so many months now you could be meeting a Virgo um, but don't uh, exclude a, a, a Taurus or a Capricorn okay it doesn't have to be a lady it can also be a man with a nurturing side okay now she plants the seeds so that and she stands for fertility the time is fertile to get what you want to plant that seed and to get what you want in the long run to get those five of cups back to five and up to ten wow the ultimate goal okay you might find out you're pregnant if you don't want to get pregnant then take precautions you might hear of a birth this could be of a child or a project you might have already planted the seeds for a certain project and you might see your return your harvest as the Queen of Pentacles nurtures every seed she plants like a real mother she makes it grow she feeds it she cares for it she talks to it she loves it and then it will grow and start blossoming and once the blossom has come to fruition then she picks the harvest and after that you have already planted seeds most probably Sagittarius and you might be seeing your return or your harvest at the end of the week as you have celebrations you have the four of wands you might actually be getting married if you have um, met a person um, again you might be deciding to get married and celebrating or you might be invited to um, a wedding you've got the Queen of Pentacles here as well so it is a very fertile beautiful time you might be growing yourself you might be enhancing yourself in some way and you are putting your time into something like a job or a study or starting a family wow it is beautiful beautiful positive energy so you'll be celebrating and whoever you 
this could be other celebrations. It could be uh, uh, that you've passed an exam or a birthday and you could be meeting people. You might be even, look again, this is the proof, this, the tale of Matis. She always comes at the Sagittarius reading. I'll just show you her. There you go. That's her. She always, she's a Sagittarian. She's my Sagittarian. Besides my daughter. <laughs> right, right, get the camera right. Sorry, but she always comes at the Sagittarius reading. <sighs> okay, that's my celebration. <laughs> I'm a uh, lover. And uh, anyway, you could be meeting people at these celebrations, and uh, this could be forming new friendships. You might be networking at a party or a gathering and celebrating uh, your advancement or statements, uh, state, uh, status in the company. Wow! And these friendships will be built on proper foundations, as this is the Four of Wands, or you might be moving into a new home. Le uh, renting or buying. You might be buying a home. Perhaps you've planted seeds for that. Now we're going to layer. And this is what I mean. You've got the Ace of Wands, so that's a new job. That could be a new promotion. You might be actually making your hobby, because they stand for creation, uh, uh, creation, logic, and they, they they go for what they want. So you might have gone for a promotion, you might have gone for a new job, and boom, there you are, you've got victory. The uh, Ace of Wands is lying on you. There is recognition from the employer, so you might have got a promotion, as the Six of Wands means going onwards and upwards you have recognition. Now she's nearly holding on to her wand. Then we have the King of Cups. A man might be offering his hand to marriage. The King of Cups is Cancer, but don't exclude Scorpio or Pisces. This is a very um, f sensitive man, but he has um, his emotions under control, right? Because he's got the status of the king. So you might have a new love, and he's offering it to you. Look at that. And y you're in your element because you've got the ace of fire. This could be a new passion, a new love, and he's offering you that cup of love and passion and nurturing. They are a very nurturing type. They're usually also very good looking and they are fair from hair. They usually have fair hair. Okay, so now we're going on to the Nine of Pentacles. He could even be offering you like a promotion but also a new job besides love. You might be partnering up in business and um, this will bring in big money for you. You are going to have the life of luxury. You can lie back and enjoy. You might have planted seeds to find a partner in business. You might want to start your own business. Now, I have, I'm looking upward, uh, upside down so I have to have a look. Look at this. This is absolutely magic. Her dress is actually falling into her lap. So this could be very unexpected. Something could be falling into your lap. Uh, and you could have already planted the seeds, like I said, and you've been nurturing it, and now it on Friday or at the weekend, it will fall into your lap. And look who's lying next to it, the Queen of Pentacles. You are walking away with the money. 
and if you turn it this way doesn't matter which way you turn it you can see she's holding the pentacle there you go you can do it this way or you can do it that way perhaps you are celebrating because you are holding the money you are you've actually received some money through a promotion or because you've got more clients look at this bring it back up a bit sorry about that and it's right in the center of the celebrations and she's actually taller than the rest so you could be that could be the promotion you are the boss you are the boss or the manager Woo! you might be managing a crowd of people amazing now I've got the answer of the angels here and I'm going to shovel them and you've got ask help from others well yes many hands make light work and if you are uh, a manageress or a manager then ask help from your uh, colleagues and guide them correctly like a nurturing mother they will give you recognition and from the love card uh, romance deck and uh, the romance readings will be out next week we have flirt extend your light-hearted energy to others yes and um, and funny enough is everybody always reads the romance cards for romance but I also use them as general be um, a little bit more innocent let your inner child come out have fun with your colleagues and celebrate life and celebrate that you're working together and that will appeal to others okay so let your inner child out and be light-hearted don't be too bossy don't be too serious you can be serious enough with having fun so long the work gets done have fun so let your inner child come out I hope you've enjoyed this reading take care stay safe and be blessed